Right, welcome back to my uh, channel. Um, it's going to be another episode of budget photography. Uh, so in today's uh, video, we're going to be doing high speed photography. Now it's going to be a fun one. Might get a bit wet because it involves. Let's get out of my pocket. Don't know which pocket I put it in. Involves using balloons. So we're going to fill a water balloon up with water. Well, it's just a normal balloon, actually, not a water balloon. We're going to fill this up with water and we're going to pop it and we're going to try and photograph the exact moment that the balloon pops so we get the shape of the water without the balloon around it, if you get what I mean so the setup I've got is i got a set at the moment to 1 8000th of a second ISO 500 um, f-stop 2.8 my backdrop is going to be that so we've got a nice white background but it's quite windy at the moment so I'm sorry you didn't hear the wind I do have a beautiful assistant um, she's hiding. There she, there she oh, is. <laughs> yeah, she is hiding. So clearly it's gonna be the uh, she's hiding again. <laughs> she's gonna be putting the shutter on the camera for me while I uh, pop the water balloon. So she's hiding again. You have to. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna uh, just just go for it. I think let's go and fill the water balloon up. Right, so step number one is to fill up the balloon, so... Okay, I'm going to start with the F on out. Let's try that. Ooh! <laughs> right. That's the balloon done. Let's go back outside. Right, this is attempt number one. Okay, go. First attempt, uh, we kind of uh, missed it, so I we're going to keep that trying. That it's not Tony's fault. Attempt number two, we got another blue. Uh, the other setting on the camera, I'm going to say, is do um, high continuous shooting. So you hold the shutter down, and it'll take lots of pictures in like one second. Um, so that increases your chance of capturing the exact moment the balloon burst. You might want to keep doing this a few times just so you get the exact shot you're looking for. One change I've done this time is change the background of that to black. The white, uh, there wasn't much contrast between the water and the background. So, hopefully, now with a black background, we get more contrast. So, the cover for that is quite creased. So, hopefully, that wouldn't matter too much. So, let's try again. Right, so we got some uh, good shots there. I think we've got at least two, maybe three. I'm kind of happy with. <laughs> These are me dreams of life. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think I'm gonna call it a day for now um, on this particular one, and then we'll have a look if we can find any other high-speed photography to do. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so I'm gonna end today's photography video right there. Um, I was going to do some more um, high speed photography but time has caught up with me, I've been busy with work and it's now dark outside and a lot of natural sunlight really helps when it comes to uh, high speed photography and I don't have any fancy lights. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please press uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up, just let me know and let me know in the comments what you think and if you've had a go at trying this. What you'll see next is um, the images we got from the shoot earlier with the uh, water balloons. Um, I'll show you them on the screen in a second. And I'll also show you some other pictures I take at another time um, of uh, a lighter uh, photography and uh, when I was punching the water and, and stuff like that. So those are maybe some tutorial videos I'll do in the future. So let me know if you want to see those kind of videos. I do tutorials on there. So until next week, have a good time. Bye now.